Michigan Wolverines. That's right. The Big Ten Women's Lacrosse Tournament on the Big Ten Network kicks knocked off Penn State. Later tonight on the Big Ten Network, we'll have Rutgers and Big Ten selections. Three second team all Big Ten selections. They're probably missing. Fire. She was a sight to watch last week, and I called it from the second she stepped onto that field. They have two big time transfers, including Molly La Liberty, two time D3. Ohio State. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. First draw control goes to the number one team in the nation, and they lose it as it's picked up by the Michigan Wolverines. That's Kaylee Thompson, the grad student out of Bel Air, Maryland. Non-traditional lacrosse states, two big-time players coming out of Michigan. I love it. It just shows the true growth of the game. Monta Morano gives it up to Smith. Smith will bounce it. La Liberty reads it all the way in the first save of the game. Aaron Koikendahl. Dancing with it in Koikendahl, five hall. Aaron Koikendahl, 1-0 Northwestern. I mean, there's that deception we talk about with Koikendahl, just so Use that to her advantage. Whoop, tucks right under, nice little stick face. Fake. 43rd goal of the season, and she has just about as many assists. I mean, just it'll be the wings coming in, trying to make something happen. I think in the second game, we'll see a lot of that too. For sure. Right down the middle, uh, Liberty. Oh, she's, Kelly Amante Hiller says, you know, off the field, nice and calm, polite, on the field, nasty. That one, I think, hit the post. Puck. Able to get that inside shoulder in, and she has such a quick whip and release off that shot. Picked up by Madison Taylor. First year player, Taylor with a perfect pass to Dylan Amante. Couples early on top attackers. It's hard work and it's tiring. And to shut someone down one on one, it's all footwork, it's your body and how you're pushing them to the outside. And I've been really impressed by both of these teams. Koikendahl's got two, and it's 2 0. She was able to see that lane again. We talk about Koikendahl's vision all the time. Very calm and easy presence coming back the other way. 44 goals and 40 assists for Aaron Koikendahl. Just a big time athlete and also great composure. I've mentioned it before. He was getting the sticks. They're not like they are every single shot, clipping the top of the head, getting a little bit of a check. Really good efforts right here. I mean, Northwestern is generating some great shots, but Michigan's D right now. Skeen finds an open spot. Northwestern, the Skeen train, Izzy Skeen, 74 goals on the season. One seed in the Big Ten Women's Lacrosse Tournament because of plays like this. Izzy Skeen finds the cage. Their hands free there. Stays with Northwestern. Rat again to Dylan Amante. Wildcats, Santa Maria standing up tall once again. Thompson bounces it in. That's a way to do it to get a by La Liberty and Michigan is on the board. It's 3-1 Northwestern. Nice rip, engaging that core. Coming across that body, really well. We look at Kaylee Thompson, as I mentioned, goal number 14. Get Michigan. Al Hansen will get behind the cage. And Skeen. It's Koikendahl, Koikendahl, Skeen. Radigan wants in on the action. Radigan has. She is snow sneaky down there on that low left side. She's really able to kind of beating her defender on that inside right there. Nice handle, able to control it, bring it down. You had the fastest show on turf and Lauren Gilbert leaving, no problem. But when you look at the men's lacrosse tournament, two upsets over there, so you just never know. I'm telling you, come tournament time, there are no rules, no records matter. Everyone is just coming to purely compete. Oh, right and there. Yeah. <laughs> Missed the first opportunity. The second one by Kaylee Thompson in and that was huge so they're moving the ball well they're finding their opportunities inside good look right there but just quick pick up dump it right back in really Haley thompson she brings a break in by northwestern taylor taylor scores full freshman campaign and taylor on the board for northwestern Taylor has the such net. a great That's not easy to do. A nice little jab step right there, coming inside, keeping her feet moving past two. Out of the hotel, and I kid you not, the minute 
her parents saw Taylor Thornton as such a great two-way player, has really solidified that defense, kind of for the good of the team. Talking about number 23, Samantha White for Northwestern, who helps give Radigan, and Radigan has scored. Radigan. I'm telling you, she is the flash. I mean, she is so, she can finish. She has such a quick release right here. Jab step on the outside, able to tuck right under, stick protection. You by State Farm, 10th in NCAA hit. So I think Northwestern has a little bit of advantage because they didn't have to play that game. They were fresh, they knew where they were. They were coming to Ohio State. All they had to do was wait for the winner and it's Michigan. Right, I think, you know, all part of the strategy. And, you know, right there, great finish by Skane on E really well in finding those inside of Eater cuts. Rad again to Skane. She's so deceptive up top. You can just see her. She's working. Even if the ball's not near, she knows how to slip cut inside. And Colorado, the players celebrating Izzy Skane's seven. It was kind of a beatdown on your alma mater, and Kelly Amante Hiller did not want to see that. And so because of that, with the assist from Melissa Lehman and Rutgers, Northwestern leads at 7-2. to two. For sure. I mean, they showed up and showed out. I mean, I give respect to Rutgers. And see right there, like I said, I, I call that a Garvey goal. That started with her, caused turnover. Sixth bringing goal it down. of the season. Kaylee Dyer right here. Really drawing some attention down low. Talk to her dad, Jay, before the game at the hotel. Of course, the scene there was 44, Hannah Gillespie. For the Wildcats, here's Smith, quick pass. Dyer with the career game against Penn State. Red all the way there by La Liberty. A little careful as the sun is starting to set, especially on down on Northwestern's defensive end. Sun can cause a little issue, just you know, looking to catch, shoot. We'll take an extra second. Rad again, tight pass. On the shot attempt for L. Hansen, it'll stay with Northwestern. What a pass from Radigan. Great pass vision, cross eight meter feed. Nice handle, two people on her. Able to tuck it. Is Northwestern on 19 shots, have an 8-3 lead, 19th goal of the season. Extra pass, still plenty of time. Dyer, five goals and two assists in the quarterfinal game. There's Smith with the shot, the red by La Liberty. He Anticipation. So fun to watch, too. Yeah, they're not afraid to come out of the caves. They'll do interceptions, get, get into the 50 50 ground balls, get the action. Koikendall, smoke, and it's not. And loading up top, doing what she does best. <laughs> Classic Koikendall right there. Here, nice look to skate, thinking she's going to drive in, hits her bestie behind, gets those hands free. Able to rick top. We're La Liberty. Good pass. Oh, and a miss. It was really a dump oh, shot. Right there. She gets she it back. It. She got it back. Schwab got, gets it back, and it's 9 4. Right there. She was posted up really well in the eight meter there. Missed the first one again. Keep shooting. Nice quick restart. I don't think Northwest was really set. She's like, hey, I'm still here. <laughs> Hit. She'll want it back. She got it back, and she gets goal number 14 on the. Skane. Skane. Oh, yes, Koikendal Koyken with four goals already, and Koikendal gives Northwestern 10 in the game. All right, let me just rip. But well done by both of them. Skane drawing both defenders. Koikendal backs up a little bit. And Rick Mueller, and he told me that she could do anything. Big time soccer. Here at center hash. Smith, yes, 10 has cut the lead in half. Smith, the sophomore sensation. Defense hard shot. Not easy to save. Recognize that she has 56th goal of the season for getting the foul. Dyer. Dyer, yes. Dyer has cut the lead to four. Great eight, eight meter by that backside Dyer, shoulder. Right. That's a nice shot, offside hips. In the last game, a little bit quiet, but if she gets rolling and brings that moxie to... I mean, look, Taylor, you don't ever want to call a, a must-score situation, but pretty close to it, based on the fact that you know you've never knocked off Northwestern. 
You pulled back with a run of three late. Yeah, and you did it. And they did it. Michigan taking advantage of Taylor getting the card. And there. Really, truly no one on her. Wide open right side of the crease. Taking her time. Nice low shot. Fake high, shoot low. Western's attacking in. All right. Michigan with that great defensive set. Skeen all by herself. Oh, my goal. She's impossible to stop. And Skeen now with another goal, 265. Really well done. Another hat trick for Izzy Skeen. And it's 11-7. 76th goal of the season. Michigan really, really patient, calling in a play. And Garvey drive from up top. Garvey, Liberty reading it. And the call is still late, kind of cross checks the neck a little bit right there. Reason for that card. Calling it tight tonight. Get your best shot, generate a high quality look. See a little extra pep in the step here for Michigan. Smith, tight quarter, Smith finish. Michigan staying with Northwestern. They're quick. They've moved the ball so well. well executed woman up play. You know, she's dancing inside, activating her defender, realizes they leave her, able to catch really tight. That was 14, Jill Smith with goal number 57. Members back out and they'll go at it again. I, I, I would pay to see Hannah Nielsen and Kelly Montehiller out there again playing, <laughs> no? Going toe to toe. Maybe mix in a little Taylor Thorpe and a yellow card. So a yellow card issued a little bit for the talented first team all big tenor, Smith. Yeah, just kind of caught her in the face there. I think up fouls, I call it every time they're going to call it. Oh my! Radigan with a sizzle! That was quite a shot. It had some heat, sauce, all of the above on it. That you can see right here, just lock and load. Yeah, one step. <laughs> Total sidearm rip. So great to be in Columbus, Ohio. We're down on the field. I walk by, she comes by. Opportunities just from her sheer fit footwork. Smith now. Smith running downhill. Spins. Smith. Red by La Liberty the whole way. It's loose in front. Pops back up. Molly La Liberty with perhaps right here. You can see Smith doing what she does. Good little jab set outside, getting an inside lane, able to do a rip. Last year, and if they could somehow knock off Maryland, I think that'll be enough to get them right back again. Amanti scores Northwestern. Nice hard shot by Dylan Amante. Really took her time. Tire body, all that power. One, two step, rip across. Nice low shot. Western, then you might be just a little bit off, and yet she handles it. <laughs> you, you caught it before the whistle. <laughs> and you know Kelly Amati Hiller also caught it as they're keeping an eye on number 11. Good little turn. What a shot. What a that shot from Kaylee Thompson as Kaylee Thompson now with a hat trick. Hey, they know. Hey, got it nice and low, but was really doing a good job of working the crease. Getting that momentum going to Cage. Three goals in this game, just 16 on the season. Dyer. For a chance to cut the lead back to three. Smith, marked by White. Smith, in. Are they saying yes, they'll give it to her. It's 13 to 10, and the Wolverines. But again, props to Jill Smith. She's taking the ball up top, wants it in her stick. Nice inside dodge, left side in. Four. And two. Michigan was so close to getting back to two. This could be a massive swing here. I'll call it a two goal swing because Michigan thought they had it and it's gonna be a two goal swing and slamming it down. Great shot by Smith. Lock and load. That's a money shot right there. Arms back, rip across with that. Team goal of the season, first of the game. Meanwhile, skiing now with four by number 45, Emerson Bolick. That was a player that Kelly Amati Hiller, that was her last comment. Bolick. Taylor, yes! Bolick to Taylor, 
and it's 15 to 10. Closing time for the Wildcats. Pull it go. Again, to pick it up and really start to push in transition. She really locked into another gear right here. Head up, flashing. Taylor comes in. Tremendous clear with pace. And the soft was thinking maybe Northwestern would try to work some of the clock. They don't. They do hustle. As L. Hansen, the grad student, runs it down. Yeah, it was a great look. Good cut. Just wasn't able to finish. Taylor! You have a hat trick. You have a hat trick. Four players for Northwestern have had no tricks. problem. Right here, taking her defender down, getting that inside shoulder in, lefty rip, nice and low. Yeah, we mentioned closing time, and that will certainly play a big role to have that advantage. 70 seconds on the shot clock. Radigan doesn't care, scores any. He's got four. Koykendall's got four, Skein and Taylor with three, and now Northwest Ohio State Lacrosse Stadium. And she came tiptoeing in there a little bit. She's like, oop, do I have this lane? I sure do. That nice tuck under. Not lost since. We talked about two-way team, great attack, great defense, great goalie, great coaches. Skein, yes. Skein, eight assists. Are you kidding me? I mean, can you expect anything else <laughs> from Izzy Skane? Lights out. How long is the Skane train? Five goals and two assists. So has to give it up. Burke. Burke still has it, and Burke back to the ground. Twenty seconds remaining. Finish from Michigan. Not going to win this game, but showing the fight of a team coached by Hannah Nielsen. Win the crash, finds the back of the net. Well, Taylor, I talked about the stars coming out under the bright lights. Smith's a star season. Western, number one team in the country. Big Ten tournament champs in 2019 and 2021. They'll have a chance to add another. Again, I just think they worked really well, played a solid game together. Just towards the back end there, Northwestern was able to pull away. And our entire crew, I'm Dean Linky. We will see you for Maryland and Rutgers in about 45 right here.